Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on how to have different types of uh, finishers or stun attacks in our stun attack system. So here as you can see if we parry the attack of the enemy we get a chance to do a stun attack. Here is the demonstration and as you can see now we have different types of animations for stun attacks not just stabbing in the stomach just like before we have multiple different animations some of them are bashing the shield and then stabbing there is okay so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit to the date there are closer to 2000 videos for each video project file is accessible here so feel free to check it out and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system mm, template that i'm working on so here you can download all other episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full tutorial series in the description you can watch everything for free all right so let's get back to today's tutorial then okay so so far in our game we have only implemented only one type of finisher or a stun attack which is this one stabbing in the stomach and killing the character so what i want to do now is add in multiple different stun attacks or finishers into the system so for that let's go to our animation pack and see what are the animations available for us this is the ramsters animation pack that i'm using so if i simulate this is the uh, animation paired animation that i had used before stabbing on the back and here we have i think we can use this animation this will also work and this one also would work and this also will work so let's see what are the animations are so these animations are named as let's have a different content browser okay right here so that it's easier for me to see filter them i don't need to filter anything so but those animations are named as paired let me switch to list paired attack down enemy okay these are the animations so from out of these what's this name bash knee slash and this one is um, bash and stop step and this one is uh, shield parry step okay so for all of those animations i need to uh, let's start i need to make them use root motion and then create animation montages so bash knee slash bash and step and shield parry step and ah, that's all actually only three animations i selected one we already have here so let's go to animation action assets and edit selection in property matrix and under root motion enable root motion save everything close now for each of this animation i need to create a montage let's create any montage and i'll continue that for both attacker 
and victim for all other selected animations okay i have done that for all the animations now if i filter the montages only you can see these paired or paired uh, animations like this montages and the i at the moment i don't really need to add any notifiers or anything default setting would be enough so now let me go back to my test map and then let me open my stun attack ability ga stun attack now here what i have done is play the attacker montage here and the victim montage here so this is only for set selected uh, only for one pair animation set so i now i have four different types of animations to hold them i think it would be better if i create a structure rather than creating two arrays or something so let's go here struct and under blueprints structure s paired montages let's use that name so first one m attack m stands for montage and type is any montage And the next one is M victim. <coughs> okay, for now I don't need anything else. Now, here I'll add a new variable. Let's call it stun attack montages. And I'll change the type to S add montages then let's change this type to an array now as i said i have four different paired animation sets so now i just have to assign them here so for that and i just yeah attacker and the victim attacker victim attacker victim victim okay nice now i don't need this anymore so here we can get this turn attack montages and from this we can get an element and here if i split this i have the attacker montage which should go here and the victim montage which should go here now how do we select which element to get so for that this is uh, instance per actor so if i create a variable in the type of integer this value will return even if the character activate the same ability multiple times so i'll call this attack count so in e, uh, i'll get the attack count and use it to get one element from the stunned attack montages but after i do one attack i will increment it so like this okay now the problem is this may exceed the number of elements in this array so what can do what can we do is let's get the length and then 
we can do a modulus division from this attack count and get this value like this okay all right now since you are incrementing it the character will automatically do a different type of attack each time when we do a stun attack right let's test oh i think we are in simulate mode play in selected viewport okay uh, okay that's one attack i'm not sure if i have any other characters here let's see i think i placed one character over there yeah see we got one over there no okay that's a different one so it is working as intended uh but the problem is we are always in doing them starting with the first one so to have some variation maybe we can do something like this attack count if this is equal to zero several um, branch let me collapse this i'll call it initialize attack counter well now this becomes a little misleading because it should meant to go from zero so i'll call it attack seed this is just a minor detail not that important but i want to do it so if this is true then instead of if this is not zero uh, then i don't want to do anything but if this is zero i will set attack seed with some random number random integer in range something in between 0 and 10 should be good enough so we will have a different attack every time when we start the attack I will add another enemy over there here for testing okay let's test it's coming oh uh, it um, okay so our camera was a little distracting that's because this spring arm is doing the collision test and it's using the probe channel camera and i think it's uh, colliding with the enemy's capsule because when we do uh, paired animations they move closer to each other and the capsule is blocking the camera press channel so i think if i just for now i'll use the visibility channel because that's not that is not blocked by the capsule it should minimize those distracting camera moments that's only a temporary solution though yeah 
so yeah that uh, stabbing uh, attacking the knee bashing the shield and attacking knee was the attack we did first now now this is something different okay so there was a little bit of that was a little bit out of sync because i am using road motion but still the characters are not going through each other they are still colliding with the capsules so that's why they didn't align exactly as in the animation preview we will address that in a later episode maybe we should temporarily disable animations but these animations are working nicely great let's check the other one also yeah that animation also works perfectly don't you see me okay okay great so yeah so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and also don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next episode goodbye